If you have used 3D Studio Max, Maya or any other 3D software, you might have heard the word Boolean. However, if you are hearing this word for the first time, it may sound uh, like funny or it may sound funny or unfamiliar, but it's a powerful and intuitive way of thinking about shapes. Lots of objects that we use every day are essentially made out of simpler shapes that have maybe been combined or have had the shape of one object cut out of the another one. So ZBrush has some simple tools for helping us work this way. So let's take a look. And in order to combine shapes, we actually have to have at least two shapes to work with. So I have this dog and I this dog model is a, I have subdivided it. Let's append another shape over here. Uh, I will press append and let's bring up sphere 3D. So I have this one, it's quite big. So I can just press E on my keyboard to get the scale option. Oops, I'm scaling the dot basically. So I will scale this up and that's what I have. Okay, now I have the sphere ready. Let me put it somewhere here on his face. Okay, go back to drawing mode and I can go back to dog and hide this one. So Let's see how the Boolean work over here. Now, what will the Boolean will do is that there are a number of different operations that Boolean usually do. Uh, one of the operations that uh, Boolean actually do is com combine. It combines two different, uh, you can say, uh, like sub tools over here. If I were, right now I'm in the combine mode, you can see over here. Okay, so by default there is a combine mode here. Okay, and if you want to see the result, you have to make sure your live Boolean is turned on. And if I will click here, so you will notice that it is basically kind of combining both of them together. Okay, now there is another mode over here, which is subtract mode. So if I want to subtract this sphere from the dog, it's like five subtracts two. So the answer is. Three. So this is, uh, you know, a sphere subtracted to a dog, and let's see what's the answer. So this bool, uh, this uh, sub tool, the sphere is basically underneath the dog, where I want the effect. This is where I want the effect. So this is on the top, and the sub tool that is subtracting or adding or intersecting or combining will be below. The next button over here is the subtract. So if I will click on the subtract, you will notice that that circle, that boolean, so sorry, that sub tool, that sphere has subtracted itself from this dog. Okay, so you can clearly see what it has done. Okay, now the another tool over here is the intersect. Let me go back here. Now, what is the intersect? Let me do one thing turn on the transparency here now just notice here this is my uh dog over here okay and this is the sphere 3d now this part of the sphere 3d a uh, 3d sphere is out of, like it's not overlapping or intersecting with any uh with any uh anything this part of the dog is not intersecting or overlapping with but here you will see that the dog head is intersecting and overlapping with this part of the sphere. So this is the intersection where two objects overlap. Okay, let me turn it off back. Now if I switch uh, from the uh, like combine to uh, intersection, so you will see that it will only show that object which was intersecting basically okay so let me go back to the combined mode for a while and if you will notice that suppose if i'm in the subtract mode okay and you can see that uh the dog head is gone because the 3d sphere is subtracting it now if i will let me go back here 
to my previous uh, option here. Okay, I just want. Okay, now if I will press W on my keyboard, you can see that my sphere is not showing, but uh, when I press W for the moving, it's showing me the gizmo. So that means as a sphere is not showing, but it's actually there. Now, if I will try to move the sphere back and forth, you can see what is happening. Okay, though it is when visible, but this is what it is doing. Okay, this is uh, actually subtracting that part. Now, if I will turn on the intersection for a while, and you can see this is the part which is intersecting right now. Okay, so you can create interesting, uh, like you know, uh. Uh, like a kind of uh, like sculptures where you have only the bust showing okay or you know uh, any other thing that you want to do creatively that you can do with this kind of thing okay so let's go back here and let's see one more thing we can do over here with that let me not intersect uh, let me go to the intersection and just what I want is that. What if I want to see if the if the dog, uh, how it looks like without an ear, okay? Or what else I can do here is that I can just simply go here, okay? And just squish it. And get rotated so that I can uh, make the tail shorter, or you can, you know, uh, I can subtract the like the tail from here. So you can see the tail is not showing here. Now, another thing I can do is that, oops, I don't know what happened here. Okay, I'll go back to drawing mode. Okay, now one more thing I can do here is that I can add another, I can append another uh, primitive here. Like, suppose if I will add a 3D cube. And press E to scale this uh, 3D cube down. Okay. And maybe I will move this 3D cube to this side. Okay. And make it just a little bigger. Now, what else I can do here is that I can add as many primitives here, append any prim uh, as many primitives here, and apply Boolean operation on it. So on the sphere, there is a subtraction, but on this one, uh, which is like uh, you know, uh, my box here, the cube here, I will apply intersection. So you can see that it is also applying intersection with the box, okay, because it was intersecting this part. And then I apply sphere, which is uh, subtracting the tail, okay. So this is quite, uh, you know, you can add as many you want and you can apply whatever results uh, you want on it. Now, one thing is that this doesn't mean that you cannot work on it anymore. So I can still work on it. I can go to the dog here i can take my uh you know a uh, sphere or uh, like uh, sorry standard uh brush here and i can you know still work on my uh standard brush tool with this okay and you can see that the part which is edge over here will not affect but the other part will affect okay so still you can work on you can move it around okay if you want to move it you can see that but i will undo that one 
So you can do so many things, move, scale, rotate, okay? And suppose if I don't want this kind of a, you know, a uh, solid effect on the uh, sphere, what I can do here is I can just go on my, uh, my sphere and try to, you know, uh, change some of these uh, things on my sphere. So what it's doing is giving it me more broken sort of effect. I can bring some noise on the sphere, okay? So I can have this kind of effect also over here. So this is not I'm changing on the uh, uh, the dog, but I'm doing it on the uh, sphere itself. For example, if I will turn on, uh, if I'll go back to combine mode just to see what I get with the sphere and uh, hide the dog for a while. So you can see this is what I did for uh, on the uh, sphere, and this is why I'm getting this result. Okay, because I reshaped the uh, sphere. So it's a little bit more of a broken effect, you can see here. Okay, so these booleans affect all the work I do now lately because they are so powerful. They're so useful for being able to combine shapes like this, but still have it to be uh, non-destructive. It's all non-destructive. You can keep on working on it. It will not uh, create artifacts uh, usually. So you see the effect of the subtractions and then intersections, but it's not actually affecting the mesh. It's not actually cutting it off. It's just a viewport effect. So as you can guess, your live Boolean arrangements can get as complex as you want as a great way to create complicated structure. So I hope you have learned about the live Booleans right now. So next lesson, we will move to some more other part and we will generate the Boolean mesh because this is just a preview. So next class, we will Next lesson, we will uh, generate a mesh out of this live boolean and see what we can, uh, how we can, uh, you know, generate that. So, guys, if you have liked this video, click on the like button. Please subscribe to my channel if, if you have not subscribed to it yet. I will be bringing up a lot of more tutorials for different applications, different software. You can go to my playlist to, to see my Substance Painter tutorial, the the full course, okay, my Maya full course, 3D Studio Max full course. And all my live sessions are there as well. The full course of uh, After Effects, Illustrator, and uh, some uh, basic advanced modeling are there. So, guys, thanks a lot for your support. And we'll meet in the next lesson. So, till then, take care.